What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Faith No More. Yes, indeed. Faith No More fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Mass Attack 27. And this is actually one of Mass Attack 27's three prioritized requests for the month of December for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Mass Attack. I hope you enjoy the show. Uh, Mass Attack wanted to see me react to this song by Faith No More called Cuckoo for Kaka. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Uh, okay, now. I'm trying to think if I've heard this song. I don't think I have. Have I heard this song before? I don't believe so. I... Uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I don't believe I have, but there is a possibility I may have. So, I'm going to go on record and say I haven't. However, <laughs> if I start listening to the song and I go, Oh, yes, yes, I have heard this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Faith No More, and the video has 250,300 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Cuckoo for Kaka. Here we go. Faith no more, right at the top, perfect. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. I'm digging the riff. I'm digging the guitars. I'm digging the bass. I'm even digging the keyboard with its dissonant downward movement. I mean, -da -da -da, that, that, that chromatic movement. I'm even okay with that. that. That sounds good in context of what's going on with the rest of the music. The drumming is good. Guitar is really good. Bass is solid. Uh, like I said, the keyboard is... Even though it's a little dissonant, it sounds good, it fits, it sounds fine. Mike Patton's vocals on this, I am not digging at all. At all. Uh, I've heard so much better from him. I've heard much better from him in Faith No More. I've heard much better from him in Mr. Bungle. And I'm not talking about his technique. The technique, I understand. He, he, he's, he's doing that... That distorted technique, you know, the the high pinched voice technique. I, I I get it. It sounds. It doesn't. I I've heard him do it so much better. 
this sounds weak. Like, this really sounds weak. Is this early, Mike Patton? That could explain it, because this does not sound trained. This sounds out of control, weak, and undisciplined. Uh, it does not sound at all like the polished Mike Patton that we know from, you know, Faith No More, like later Faith No More, and Mr. Bungle at all. I mean... Like I said, I understand the technique he's doing, all the techniques he's doing. I, I've heard him do all of them before. I've heard him do them all better than I'm hearing on this. This sounds untrained, I guess is the best way to put it. Untrained and undisciplined. So, anyway, let's keep going here. the same it's just more the same um it was nice during that little bass break that was nice it wasn't very long it was only like two measures but it was nice to hear it, it was really good it was really well done now like i said in the first break instrumentally i got no issue with this song at all i'm digging the groove i'm digging the feel i'm digging the chordal progression i'm digging the structure everything sounds good instrumentally musicians are all doing a fine job Mike Patton on this, though, does I've heard so much better from him than this. This, I suspect this is early Mike Patton. That's the only thing I can think of because it sounds undisciplined, untrained, uh, weak to some extent. I mean, it, like I said, I, it, it's not what he's doing. I've heard him do these vocal techniques in Mr. Bungle and in Faith No More a ton. And that sounds way better than it does here. So I don't know. I don't I, I could be very wrong about this, but I get the feeling this is very early Mike Patton, who has not really had a chance to develop his vocals yet. So I don't know. We'll see. Let, let's finish this out and let's let's see how see how it ends. Not sure how I feel about this. Uh, 
Let me think about it. Um, let me gather my thoughts on this. I'll see you in the review. We'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Faith No More with Cuckoo for Kaka. This was a request from Mass Attack 27, and this was actually one of Mass Attack 27's three prioritized requests for the month of December for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Mass Attack. Hope you enjoyed the show. Um, I thought about it, and I have a score here, and I think once I explain my reasonings for coming up with the score, I think the score will make a lot more sense. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I am going to give that a 7.4. Yep, 7.4. I feel great about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Let me just get this out of the way. Uh, vocally, this was not Mike Patton's best work, if I'm being honest with you. I've heard a lot better from him. Um... I don't know if this is early work or maybe this is on a later album after uh, their guitar player left. I don't know. But I I can tell you right now, this was not an Angel Dust. And this was... <laughs> there was no way that was an Angel Dust. And this was not on the real thing either. Um, this was either before 92 or after 95. I'm not sure which, but... It's one of those. Um, definitely not his best work, without question. Now, having said that, <laughs> the rest of the band was on point. Uh, guitar sounded really good. I, I dug the guitar playing. Um, something tells me... I don't know. That, eh, no, I'm, I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. Not, never mind. Uh... The guitar playing sounded really good. Bass playing sounded really good. I could hear both in the mix. I, I, I could actually hear bass. I'm not talking about the breakdowns, those, little, those, those two little breakdowns he did. I'm not talking about that. I heard that, obviously, just fine. I'm talking about through the entire song. I could actually hear the bass pretty well. The keyboard, even doing that dissonant chromatic line going down, even that sounded good. It fit the context of the song. Drumming was fantastic on this. Uh, the drumming was super solid on this. Everything instrumentally sounded really good about the song, okay? I dug the song. I didn't dig the vocals, okay? If Mike Patton's vocals had been better on this, if they had sounded stronger, more developed, more uh, more precise, um, if they had just been executed better overall, like like I've heard him do like on Mr. Bungle. Like, I, I understand... That what he's going for as far as sound-wise goes, the, the type of vocal decisions he's trying to get, I understand. But I've heard it so much better from him. This did not sound good. And I cannot explain it, uh, other than he was either, like I said, this was either prior to 1992 or it was done after 1995. But in either case, I was not thrilled at all with the vocal performance. Instrumentally, sounded fine. Sounded really good. Instrumentally, I would have given this a, like a 7.8, maybe 7.9, possibly. Uh, I enjoyed the song. I enjoyed the musicianship. I enjoyed the instrumentation. I enjoyed the actual music part of the song. This is, the vocals just killed it for me, though, and that's why it came down from like a 7.8, maybe 7.9, down to a 7.4. I was not through with Mike Patton's vocals on this at all. Um... And it's like I said, it's not what he was doing. Like I said, I've heard that before. I've heard him do it in Faith No More, and I've heard him do it a lot in Mr. Bungle. And in both instances, he did it a lot better. A lot better. Stronger, fuller, uh, more precise soundings and vocalizations than what this was. This sounded undisciplined. It sounded weak. It sounded thin. It sounded hollow. So I was not thrilled at all with the vocal performance on this song. But, like I said, instrumentally, dug it. I absolutely dug it. So, we're giving it the 7.4, and that is where we're going to stay. So, 7.4, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. 
If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.